Hey girl, it's me. How are you? Uh, don't be scared. It's just me, your sleep paralysis demon. Who else, honey? Anyways, um, I've been thinking your YouTube channel have been so dry and I think you need to spice it up. You know, like give it a little bit of oh. Uh. So how about we go to hell and we come back with some spicy ideas because where would you get it from, you know? Okay, get it on three, two, one. Yes, you're doing amazing, honey. Okay, let's go. So, hell is hot, I'm just saying. So, prepare yourself, get some sun lotion. Okay, so the reason we're in hell right now is because all of the creative people like Picasso are currently burning. So, why not just steal their or release ideas? Am I not smart? What? Crazy. I got it! I'm gonna follow John McLean's makeup tutorial. Okay guys, so I know what you're thinking. Uh, you know what, I need to stop doing that because I actually don't know what people are thinking. But, I know that I know that I think that you're wondering where I am right now. And guess where? I'm in hell! Wow! The reason that I'm in hell is because I hear guns. Anyways, the reason that I'm in hell right now is because if you didn't know, John McLean is a god and you know that I am a little bit of... You know like, if I can't get direct contact to god, why not just talk to his manager? But like, where I'm going with this is that John McLean, he's not only a god, but he's a vampire, so he's been around for like a while and I think that Picasso died in like the 1800s, whatever, I don't care. So, so Picasso died a while ago and um, I still don't know how this like ties with like John McLean, but still. Before we start, I just wanted to show y'all what I was serving. I was serving y'all a little bit of yee yeah, yee! Yeah. Serving y'all a little bit of country gal, country gal. I say you know so much, like people know what I mean, you know? Okay guys, so let's get deeper into hell because this right here is just the entrance. So, let's go. <laughs> Woo Chile, hell is hot, bitch. I'm burning but not itching, so... Okay, so for this um, video, I was going to follow this makeup tutorial, this one right here, the golden one, because I'm already golden, so why not? But, there will be a twist, and the twist um, is, is that I'll be... Yeah! Okay, so the twist is that I'll be following his makeup tutorial, but like a drugstore edition, because you know your girl balling on a motherfucking budget. So technically, um, this whole idea was by default. Within the previous look, if I recall correctly, I used MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NC30. And that is what I'm going to use here today. So I'm just going in with that first of all. As you can see, it's drastically darker than my natural skin tone. Okay, so um, I don't have any of that. Okay, if you don't know, I'm an artist, so I always have paint brushes. So I guess like my brush looks similar to his brush. Not even close, baby. Pray for me. Actually, don't pray for me because I'm in hell, so. God, this is so... <gasps> wow. I realized that I've been cussing a lot in my videos, and I really want to change that. Well, I actually don't want to change it, but... I want to censor myself and I've been thinking like what if I censor myself while using oofs mother oof fucking wait <laughs> and now I'm just going to go in and buff all of that through and correct the texture with a furless CB1 brush I'm just taking a tiny bit of that foundation on the brush and stippling it all in okay so he's um gonna Stipple, that's a big word, stipple. 
Anyways, he's gonna step out. Um, yeah. Okay, so like this brush is like really free, and I could tell you why it's free. Because like honestly, stippling my face right now, it feels like I'm like getting acupuncture. I don't know what it's called. Accutane, something like that. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Do you mean Akari puncture, acupuncture? Acupuncture. So it's actually called acupuncture. Yeah, it feels like I'm like getting acupuncture. I don't know what that feels, but it just looks like it'll feel like this. Like these brills are so hard. Like I don't know whose pubes these came from, but it came from someone's pubes. If these are your pubes and you're watching this, thanks for making this video possible. Like, I just want to be a beauty guru so bad, but no one likes me so. Yikes. Now because this foundation hasn't given me the desired coverage that I want, I'm going to go in with some of Estee Lauder's Double Wear Maximum Cover in the shade 03 Creamy Vanilla. Okay, so I think I have the desired coverage, but even if I didn't, like, I have no choice but to like not have desired coverage. So, on that note, I think we should... Now I'm going to go in and cream contour from my custom palette and I shall be using both these two tones here. I'm just going to cut in with that and blend it in. All of the tones that I'm using today are going to be warm tones. And I'm going to apply a little bit of that around the forehead. I do have quite a large forehead. Yes. <laughs> Big forehead gang. Oh my god, my forehead looks so dark. What? Edges! Fuck my life. Anyways, um, uh, my forehead looks so dark. I'm not gonna complain about it because everything is fixable. I hope. And then I'm going to take the side of the brush and contour the nose ever so slightly. The way that I contour my nose is a little different. I don't normally contour my nose. But if I do, this is the technique that I use. And I'm going to blend that in with a Fairless CB1 brush, just very delicately patting it. I don't want it to be too obvious. Oh my god, my brush was dirty! It had like black eyeshadow in it. This is ugly. I'm not gonna cry. So my nose is almost shaped like a triangle. What we want to do is flip that triangle upside down. And what I do by doing that is actually applying highlighter quite, quite widely at the top. And then I pull it down the nose, thinning it as we come down to the tip. Cut across. So you see a sharp cut there, which then brings the nose in. Okay, so this is when it gets tricky. Okay, right, so this is when it gets tricky. Okay, so we're gonna bring this down here and we're gonna wing it out. Fuck, get the fuck. Get the fuck over here, bitch. Anyways, we're gonna wing this out. Okay, so we're gonna blend that. Bitch, you really think that you could come back in my life? Girl, actually, I need you. And setting through only the areas that I have applied highlighter to with some of Inglot's Mattifying Loose Powder on a MAC Cosmetics 138 brush. 
trust me, I don't advise anyone to like buy this setting powder. But I went Yeah. That one. I don't advise anyone to buy this. This is like the worst setting powder ever, but it's what we are working with because we're on a budget. So Okay, so now that my BS is finished, I. <gasps> what the fuck is that? What? What is this? A good. I'm gonna have. <sighs> hey, hey, sir, 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 stop. Oh you have to take a picture. Take the oh picture and go. Take the picture. Oh my god. Take the picture wow. and go. Take, take How did the they picture get here? and go. What picture? This picture? This picture? This picture? Uh, this picture, bitch? This picture? This picture? This picture? Take the this damn picture? picture. Bitch. Oh my god, why am I here? You're in heaven right now because you've excelled the previous challenge and completed the base of your face perfectly. Okay guys, so I've advanced to the new level of trust, honey. So you get that, bitch. A bitch in heaven right now. Can I say bitch? Nope, three strikes and you're gone. Sorry, don't send me to hell. Your girl in heaven right now, so guess what? We bought to shit. We bought to do this. <laughs> and I'm going to take a Dermacolor Cream Concealer in the shade D40 on a MAC 263 and then begin sketching in the eyebrows. And I want the eyebrows to be quite harsh and quite penciled looking. So that's the eyebrows more or less done. Oh! Oh! What the fuck just happened? He went from zero to like. Ten. Okay, I'll do my brows off camera since I don't know how he did his. So I'll just like. Now for the eyes, I'm going to create a very dark socket and then cut in with concealer and then apply pigment on top of it. But first of all, I'm going to apply some of Urban Decay's powder eyeshadow in the shade Buck from the Naked Palette as our transition color. And now I'm applying some of MAC Cosmetics powder eyeshadow in the shade Soft Brown on a Zova 227. And just warming that tone And I'm just taking that ever so slightly underneath the eye. And now I am taking MAC Cosmetics powder eyeshadow in the shade Espresso. And I'm packing that into place on an Inglot 8 HPS brush. And now I'm applying some of MAC Cosmetics powder eyeshadow in the shade La Mage. I'm applying that on the same pencil brush from before. And I'm connecting that into the socket just ever so slightly. I'm going to first of all apply this very pale shade from my customized palette. But what I'm doing first of all is just cutting in a crease. I'm doing very careful with this. Filling in the eyelid. And a great way I've been able to do this very well is to actually look down in a mirror. And I'm going to be going in with some of MAC Cosmetics Reflex Glitter in the shade Bronze Reflex. However, I'm going to use one pump of MAC Fix Plus on the brush. Sometimes it is better to apply these facing down so that you do not get too much fallout. And really just pack it on and start to build up the product. So I've drawn in quite a graphic, sharp cat eye. And I've lifted it more at the outer corner so it cuts right across the eye. Okay, I don't have any of that sophisticated. Oh my god, look at my studio. I don't have any of that sophisticated shit, so I'll just use this color from my Born to Run palette by Urban Decay. Decay, and it's in the shade Riff.
And now I'm applying some of my cosmetics powder eyeshadow in the shade Soft I don't have that either. Right, because I don't have that, I'll just be using a mixture of this color right here, Riff, and a mixture of Punk. It's actually spelled P-U-N-K, but I thought it was fancy to pronounce it like Punk. Okay, this is when everything becomes messed up because, you know, like, I just happen to mess up everything, so let's go. Then I'm taking some of MAC Cosmetics powder eyeshadow in the shade Brule. Okay, when he said Brule, that sounds like a sophisticated way to say um, the homophobic slur in Barbados. It's called Bulla, but it sounds a little bit more fancy. So I'd rather be called Brule than Bulla, you know? So for this part, I'm just gonna be using this color. It's called Weekender. We are going to be going back into our shade called Punk and and we're going to Right We are going to like mix this color Jet and we're going to mix Rydia I think he applied it too heavy. <laughs> right now I'm serving you raw SD. What is this? What is this? Okay, that's it. Time for you to go to hell. Girl, what the fuck? I don't want him down here. Keep him up there. Okay, let's agree to disagree on this one. He'll be going to uh Sounds like a plan to me. You can sit. To freedom! <laughs> you know like the blonde girls with the really bad tans and like super light lipstick and heavily done mascara with heavily done eyeliner with heavily done everything? I just look like one of those. Look at this. This is ugly. <laughs> yeah, I just look like that. I look like I'm into like BDSM and stuff, so just. Stay away, I'm dangerous, bitch. Oh my god, I feel so dangerous. I feel so feisty. Like, I feel like I don't know if to be like submissive or dominant. I just feel like a mixture of both. You wanna get whipped? You wanna whip this? Yeah. I whipped and get whipped, bitch. Okay, that's the end of this video guys. I hope you liked it. Well, I hope you didn't like it because I didn't and I thought it was pretty boring, so...